like not even my hand. It hurts my arm. It hurts like the, my upper arm because I'm. So, oh, I can't, I can't explain to you. Whoops. Yeah, this is the strongest version. He doesn't even need a fucking keyboard. Keyblades are for the weak. This is a fucking young Zane or East game. Well, no more, I don't think so. my question. Like, wouldn't you not be able to travel time at this point? And why did he come now? Like, was he just trying to measure how strong they were? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know, man. Doesn't make sense. Oh, 
Exactly, exactly. Actually, wait, no, of course he did. No, young Xehanort, remember the opening scene of uh, Kingdom Hearts 3? Like, they're playing chess in the land of departure. They were friends. Wasn't he stuck on the same island as Riku? Dude, that doesn't make sense, though. They were playing chess at the land of departure. Yo, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense, though. That makes no sense. playing chess he was younger right right he was younger than that uh you know that scene when it was Xehanor on the island like when he was on the island he was older but if he was on the same world as Ericus then Xehanor and Ericus were both at the land of departure so technically he was off the island so how did he get to the island in the first place if he didn't know how to leave worlds Like, what? How did he get there? Doesn't make sense! Yeah, I wanna know how we got time traveling powers. They, they never explain how he got it, and it doesn't make sense. Even Sonic 06 explained why time travel existed better than Kingdom Hearts. At least we knew how they were using it. They had an explanation for it. There's no explanation for it. For any of the characters for that matter. When Terra visits Destiny Islands, Riku speaks of someone getting out and it shows the back of young Xehanort. Oh. That's right, I remember that. Not Terranort, you know what I mean. Yeah, young Xehanort, right, right, right. Oh, young Terranort, what? You mean Xehanort, yeah. Don't, don't be confusing me now. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Young Terranor, could you imagine? I'd be done. If I don't win this attempt, I'm just gonna call it night. I don't really care that much. I mean, I've, I've already I've already shown you that I'm capable of winning. Uh, what if he was put there by their master for a test? Well, that would make sense. But how would the master get it? How did anyone get time travel? Think about that. How did anyone get it? Where did it come from? Why, why, why? I don't understand. Why do they have to pay to use time travel in the first place? How come, how come the others were able to use time travel and not pay for it? But what Sora did, he had to pay for it immediately. That doesn't make sense. But then in Cage 3, when they used it, then they were like, oh, we gotta pay for it. Like, excuse me? You didn't have to pay for it in Dream Drop Distance? But you have to pay for it now? Okay. Like, okay, man. That just doesn't make sense to me.
Yeah, why doesn't Sora have one? Or Riku or Kairi? Why, why don't they have Keyblade armor? It's because someone had to make it for them? Or like... Like, if you gave Sora a fancy shoulder pad, then he'd get some Keyblade armor. I mean, clearly Yen Sid is capable of giving Sora some Keyblade armor. Oh, that's right, she did lose it, right? But did she get it back at the end of Cage 3? She used it. Remember that scene? Yeah, but Terra got it back too. But they got their they got their armor back at the end of the game. Remember remember the scenes of uh of the of the DLC? In the DLC it shows Riku with Terra, right? They're sitting and they're talking. Or they're standing and talking, right? And then at the end of the scene, all three of them, the whole trio, goes into this portal and they all have the armor on. Also, man, those fights require as cheap of a strategy to beat it as the boss uses, man. Just, oh my gosh. You literally need to be cheap in order to win.